notice that the first one you put up identified what your answer would be because that came in a position that was two positions before the decimal. So as soon as you wrote the one here, you knew your answer was going to be a hundred and something. Now let's take a look at a similar problem. It's x either increased or decreased by a certain number. And you know, if you increase x by 20%, you say x plus 20% of x. Similarly, if you decreased x by 20%, you'd say x minus 20% of x. And that would be 1.00x minus 20% of x, which would be 80% of x. And that tells us something important about decreasing numbers by a certain percent. If you decrease a number by 20 percent, 80 percent is left. Similarly, if you decreased a number by 30 percent, 70 percent was left. So in the case of a discount on an item at a store, that's a reduction by a certain percent. So if you save 20 percent, you pay 80 percent. If you save 40 percent, then you pay 60 percent. Okay? <clears throat> Very simple way to think of discounting or any sort of reduction of a number by a certain percent. So with that in mind, let's take a look at example two. It says Kevin bought a tie at a 20 percent off sale. If the sales tax was 8 percent and the final price was 1134, what was the original or the pre-sale price of the tie? Well, in this case, the problem asks us to find the original price of the tie, so I'll say let x be the original price of the tie. Well, <clears throat> then what would be the discounted price? Well, if you save 20%, you pay 80%. So 80% was the 20% off price. 80% of x. <clears throat> if you save 20%, you pay 80%. Now, the third line has the word tax down at the end of it, so they want us to do something about the tax. We now know what Kevin is supposed to pay for the shirt. He's supposed to pay 80% of the total price because he's getting 20% off. But what is going to be the price after the tax? Well, just as the 80, the 20% is a 20% discount, the tax of 8% is an 8% increase. And if you want to nump, increase a number by 8%, we said before, write 1.08x. That's increasing x by 8%. But the thing is, he didn't pay x for the shirt, or for the tie. What he paid for the tie was 0.80x. So we don't want to take 1.08x and increase x by 8%. We want to take 1.08 of 0.80x, so that 0.80x, which is what he paid for the tie, gets increased by 8% the amount of the tax. So I'll say 1.08 of 0.80x is the tie cost increased by the 8% tax. 1.08 times 0.80x, that's the cost of the tie increased by 8%. Okay, now we've got a bunch of stuff here. We've got the original cost of the tie, which was x. We've got the 20% off price, 0.80x. We've got the to to uh, cost of the tie after the sales tax, which was 1.08 of 80% of x. What the heck equation do we write? Well, when it gets kind of hard to write an equation, find something you can write two ways. If I try to write the final price, 
I've already got one way to write it. So I'm going to say write the final cost of the tie two ways. And the first way I'm going to write it is 1134 because the problem just says the final price was 1134. Now I need a second way to do it. And the final price was determined first by taking an 80% discount and then adding the sales tax. So another way to write the final price of the tie is 1.08 times 0.80x. Now both of these are the final cost of the tie, so they have to be equal. So the setup equation is 1134 has to be equal to 1.08 of 0.80x. And so all we have to do now is solve that. Now be a little bit careful here. The 1.080, uh, 1.08 only multiplies the 0.80. It doesn't multiply the 0.80 and the x. The distributive property distributes over terms, and this is all one term. So you only get to use that 1.08 twice. So I'm going to say 1134 is equal to 1.08 times 0.80x. And to get x by itself, I'll divide both sides by 1.08 times 0.80. But I have to do that to both sides. So over here also, 1.0x times 0.80. And that's division. And since it's division, I can cancel here. And that will give me x, which is what I was looking for. Now on the other side, be careful if you're using a calculator. When we write a horizontal division line, there are some invisible symbols that go there that you're supposed to know about, but you may not. Anytime you see a horizontal division line, there is automatically considered to be a bracket around the top and a bracket around the bottom. We don't show them because we've got the horizontal division line there, so we know that they're there, so it saves time to leave them off. But they are there. Your calculator cannot make that horizontal division line. It makes a little slant division line like this. And when you use the slant division line, you cannot leave out the brackets. So before you go to put this in your calculator, do the following. Put a bracket around the top and a bracket around the bottom. And when you enter it into your calculator, enter it like this. Open 1134, close, divided by, open 1.08 times, usually an asterisk is the time sign, 0.80. And I'm going to pop that into my calculator right now so I can see what the answer is. That's 11.34 divided by open 1.08 times 0.80. Close, and I get the wrong answer. Hmm. Well, I said it was the wrong answer. It was actually the wrong question. Uh, but the answer that we get here, if you just punch that into your calculator, is either 1312 or 1313. I'm going to call it 1313. That is the correct answer to this problem. Unfortunately, I copied the wrong problem down. But that doesn't matter. All the techniques are the same, and this is the correct answer to the problem. And if you take a 20% discount off that, and then you add the sales tax, you do come up with the price of 1134. So that is the correct answer. And that completes the podcast.